if you're pulling up and you're using your fingertips on the clay, uh, you end up with a series of marks on there. And some people say, oh, that's wonderful. It shows that it's handmade. Well, if that's what you need to show it's handmade, why, it's not a very good pot. <laughs> uh, but the, the thing is, on a small pot, you could get away with this. But if I were doing a tall pot like this, all those little marks up the surface of the pot would be out of mm -hmm. scale. And so I'd want to have, I may want to have some marks that indicate how it was made, the gesture of throwing. But I want them to be broader. I want them to be uh, a, a little easier, so that and, <coughs> and I, on the inside, particularly of bowls, I, I like to have a nice clean surface, so that if you're scooping something out of the bowl. Uh, your fingers or your spoon or whatever it is, uh, don't go bouncing over the uh, the ridges. You know, you can scoop things out of the bowl, and it's it's a smooth surface. There's an old saying that the the in inside of the pot should look larger than the outside. I, I'm not sure I can agree with that, but uh, I, I think that the interior of a pot, particularly a bowl form, is extremely important. And it should, it should speak of capacity. It should speak of containment uh, in, a, in a variety of ways. And, uh, do a little bigger one. I'll talk about a little more visually here. <coughs> talk about the termination of pots, uh, the top termination and the bottom termination. And he said, you know, <coughs> uh, he learned that from a painting instructor that he had, who said, if you take care of the ends of the line, the middle will take care of itself. Mm -hmm. You can get away with almost anything in, this, in the middle, if, as long as you have a strong beginning and termination. And, uh, so uh, he translated that into into his thinking about the form of pots, and it's why the feet, the cut foot of the pot, became very important to Bernard, and the uh, uh, top termination, which says visually you come to the end of the form. You know, uh, it doesn't just disappear into space. Now that that's that's going to have a fairly high foot. I left a lot of thick clay there, and it it will make a foot that's as strong as this, as as the top termination uh, on the bottom. <coughs> 